So let's take a look at this model for female reproductive system. What we can see from external to internal is labia majora, labia minora, then vaginal orifice and the vagina. Here is the cervix, and then past the cervix is the uterus. So this whole structure here is the uterus. The rounded tip of the uterus is the fundus, and here is the body. Anterior to the vaginal orifice is the external urethral orifice, so this is female urethra, into the urinary bladder. And then anterior to the external urethral orifice, this red and blue represents the vascularization of the clitoris. As we look from a more lateral view, you can see an ovary and the fimbrae of the fallopian tube. Here is the infundibulum of the fallopian tube, and then here's that tube coming in towards the uterus. Sweeping out from the uterus, connecting all of this to the pelvic cavity is the broad ligament. And then here represented in white, which is also here, is the round ligament. As we look inside, this green structure coming down represents the ureter, which is going to come down to the urinary bladder. So that's how urine gets from the kidney to the bladder. We can also see common iliac artery with it branching into external iliac and internal iliac. And then we can see internal iliac branching into superior gluteal artery, internal pudendal artery, and obturator artery, which is going to go out through the obturator foramen with the obturator nerve there.